Hi, good morning. Today is the 29th of January and uh, we have, we arrived in France 22 years ago today on the 29th of January. So um, uh, we thank God for these 22 years here in France where we have seen God's grace in our lives, helping us to get um, uh, established here in this country working with the French Church, evangelizing the those who need to know about Jesus Christ and uh, pastoring French, uh, French Baptist churches. So we, we would like to thank all those who have been praying for us and are still praying for our ministry here in France. And uh, today I would like to read again Ephesians chapter 2, verse uh, chapter 4, verse 2. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love. So we talked about humility, gentleness, patience, and today I would like to talk about um, this um, important uh, quality for the unity of the church that in the King James is, it is translated as forbearance. Uh, and and this in this version it is the to bear with one another to bear with one another. So the mutual su uh, support, as we say in French, it is an extremely important quality because if you think about a, a building, um, a temple made of stones, uh, every stone is extremely important for the whole building. What do you call a, a bunch of stone in a field? As we see here in the Basque country, in this area of France near Spain, there were lots of wars and, uh, between France and Spain. And uh, we, we find in some places um, uh, ruins of castles, of fortresses. And we don't call those things a temple or a castle. We call them ruins. But the church is not a ruin. The church is a living body, a living temple, as Ephesians says, growing for the glory of God. And each stone is there to support the other, so the temple will grow. We find in Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 to 14, an, an, an interesting text that actually talks about this important quality in the new society of God. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with one another and forgive each other. Should anyone have a complaint against another, as the Lord has graciously forgiven you, so you all, you also must forgive and cover all these virtues with love, which is the bond that leads to perfection. So we know these qualities, and in many uh, qualities that we call the fruits of the Spirit, or virtues, as it, it's written here, we find this, uh, this idea of, um, of uh, forbearance. Um, in, the trans in the King James, that's the word they use, uh, for, for the word used for bearing uh, with one another. And uh, it says that it is to abstain or to hold back, to hold back, to have self-control and hold back. Like if someone is in need, or someone has got a, a debt against, uh, against you, something against you, instead of attacking and instead of taking the person to justice, you hold back, you forgive. You have self-control and you hold back. It's actually thinking of, uh, um, of the other person before thinking of you. It's understanding that in the temple of God, you are there to support others. The grace you receive from God is to give, to share. That's the idea here in this text. That's why we say that in many of these qualities, in many of these virtues, we are going to find this, the idea of what it is to, to hold back, to protect, to help, to think about others. As God did, says Paul in Romans chapter 2, verse 4, Or do you hold in contempt the riches of his kindness and forbearance? as we find in this translation, and patience, not knowing that God's kindness 
is meant to lead you to repentance. That's the idea that God is so patient with you. And you should be patient with your brother and with your sister in the church. God bless you.